Yo, what's up guys? So um without too much talking, I'll just be showing you how you can tune any sample to the key of the song you are in. Like at times you might be using loops and the loop might not be in the key you want to sing on, or you will just feel like changing the key of that loop. It's quite very easy in FL Studio, like very, very easy. So first of all, I have a loop going, a drum loop, which I'll just play so you hear what it sounds like. Yeah, just a basic simple afro bounce loop then i'm going to tune some i'm going to tune some samples so you see what how it's done and then um, most of the times the way loops work they are often keys by the side so they tell you this sample is on this key this sample is on this key so let's take for example um let's go to sabara sounds coconut dreams let's see some melodies here so we have the first melody which is on c minor and c minor is relative to um d sharp major so d sharp major so let's see that so we just drag this let's drag this melody and this is what it sounds like So we could just tune this by coming to our pitch. So this is the way it works. If you really know keyboard, if I shift this our pitch knob plus 100 cent, the next will be after C, we have your C sharp minor. So this sample is now on C sharp minor. So let's play it so you hear the difference. So it's just move to the next key. So after C, you have your C sharp. After your C sharp, you have your D. So if I'm taking this to plus 200 now, I'm shifting it to D. It's now on D minor. If I take it plus on that 100, I have my D sharp minor. D sharp minor. So. If I take it again, I have my E minor. Whoa. So it's quite easy in FL Studio, like very easy, just changing your pitch, carrying the sample, changing the pitch, and it's on key, and it's on key. So let's reset it back to what we had before. So if we take it backwards, minus 100, we have our B minor. Take it on that one, we have our B flat minor. Minus 200, we have our B flat minor. Take it again, minus 300, we have our A minor. basically that's just how really easy really really easy it is to tune your sample to any key so yeah, for example now i have this um let's reset this to our c minor and i have maybe i have a guitar loop i just want to infuse in this let me look for some guitar vibes so yeah so this our this on f major and this sample is on c minor but i want to use the two of them together they are on different keys so i have to tune them to the same key like i said our c minor is relative to our d sharp major so let's just assume that this is our d sharp here now this sample is on d sharp this is on f major this is on d sharp major so let's bring this First of all, we need to set it to how many loops. So let's just stretch it. There should be a four bars. So let's see whether it's four bars. It's too fast. So it should be eight bars. 
Yeah. So this, sorry. So this on um, F major, this on D sharp. So I can either tune this upwards. So from D sharp to F major B. If you look at your keyboard, let me just bring in my keyboard so you see how it's done. So this is my D sharp. This is my F. So for my D sharp to my F, it's just plus two. We have this and this. So I'll just tune this plus 200. So we have. Yeah, so basically they are on the same key. So why it will sound not nice is because they are totally different vibes. So let me try and see if I can cut a place I could just infuse. Yeah, so you could see that they are on the same key. So basically that's how easy, that's just how easy it is to tune your sample, really, really, really easy. Just see what the keys of the two samples or the many samples you are using and just change your pitch. Yeah, so basically that's just how really, really easy it is to tune your samples. So if you have any questions, you could just ask me, but I don't think there should be any question because this is just straight, straight, straightforward. If this on my F major, and um, this is, let's reset this back. This on our D sharp. So we could take this to our F or we could bring this to D sharp. So, and from F sharp, from F to D sharp is minus two. So we just take this sample to minus 200. So. So basically, that's how simple it is. Thank you. And I hope you've learned something from this. So thank you for watching. And um, we out.